So greetings YouTube, this is Mike Cayley 7 coming to you on June 6th, 2022. And as you can see, I am uh, I'm home from work. Gotta get some gas. So I think I might try the Costco. See how that goes. I see Policia. Oh, they got them somebody. Not bueno, not bueno at all at all. Maybe, yeah, I'll go to Costco. It's the cheapest gas around. You can't beat it. I hope it's not too crowded. That's the only problem. Whenever I can, I try to go to Costco for gas. Now that it's uh, right by my house, Costco's, Costco is the way to go. Do you guys use Costco? Sam's Club is too far away. Uh, Costco used to be, but now they have the biggest one in North Carolina, right over here by, you know, just minutes from my school. Seconds if there are no lights. about a half a tank that's not too bad oh I forgot to put it in rider mode because see I've got it in sport mode I don't know if you can see that but I got it in sport mode and the problem with that is uh, it's good I mean it's very good but I'd like to have um, more control over like the softness of the ride and the, the full power blah 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 so I already have that set in my rider mode so that's, uh, I'm going to get out my phone when I get out of that Costco and set it. ski -doos. Look at that, huh? ski -doos. I hear like a, oh, it's, all right, the Volkswagen behind me, there's a Beetle behind me. And his, his engine is beefy. Or at least the pipes are beefy. Oh, goodness. Oh, it didn't make a full tank. All right, well, I just learned something. Costco, they have this weird pump. If you don't get a full vapor lock or whatever they call it, between the pump and your, ga and your gas tank, it doesn't quite work. So, I got three quarters of a tank. Well, that's not terrible. I'm watching out over here. So I tried to put my bike into rider mode, but it wouldn't let me. I clicked download settings from my phone. But it said stop the bike. I did stop the bike. The bike is not moving. Hello. Whatever, I'll figure it out later. Sport mode is good enough. So what you see up here is the bypass 
Highway 540 is going in underneath this. The road used to go straight there, but now it's going around it while they make the, the underpass. You can kind of see there what's going on. quarters of the tank ain't half bad. So, I shan't complain. Where's the school? I was uh, looking at rehearsal spaces in the area that I live in for music stuff base or you know whatever else and it's partly because the the baritone saxophone that I'm playing and I am playing it again by the way it's such that um, it's so loud you know it's hard to play it at home especially with when anyone else is at home I could go to the I could bring it to the college I guess there's a stage nearby I just have to figure that out and do it Taking it easy on these tires. So I found out that uh, for music practice, a lot of people are resorting to renting out a storage space and playing their music at the storage space. I can't imagine that that would be met with any approval by the owners of the storage space especially if it's a baritone saxophone I mean if you're in there playing on a bass guitar by yourself I don't think anybody's gonna care but a baritone saxophone whoo, somebody's killing geese in that storage unit But, uh, I got lessons now with uh, a nice guy at uh, the local music place I go to. I also have uh, the bass lessons still, so I'm learning two instruments now, and so I'm a happy camper with that. Now, this past weekend, I was sitting in the house. I can't really do anything because I'm still healing. And the surgery I got, uh, there's two of them. One is the gallbladder surgery, so my abdomen has three big holes in it. And they're healing, and so I can't really do any straining. No real heavy lifting, right? Don't want to get a hernia. And uh, then I had the other surgery, my horrific cloaca surgery. Let's just put it that way. And as a result, you know, I just haven't been able to exercise, walk around even. I, mean, I consider it walking exercise. You know, go into a lake, walk around, or walk around campus or something, but nope, can't even do that. And the bleeding, because it's all rubbing together down there. And that stinks. So there I am sitting in the house. You know what I could do? I could ride. I could go for a nice long ride. And then I start thinking, you know, I'm so fragile right now with the, my, my broken knee is still healing from October. I didn't really break my knee, I broke the top of my tibia in two places. Look at me being a good little doobie, huh? You like that? Not half bad, right? You know, this is the commute home, 
everyone's commuting from work back home at 6 something p.m. 6.26 p.m. So I, I'm not gonna do anything too stupid, hopefully. Plus I have a new tire on here, so it's barely scuffed in. I think I've only got 50 miles on it, if that. Notice I'm keeping my distance between me and that little Chevy in front of me. I'm trying to be a good little motorcycle rider. I still think I probably look like a giant potato on the back of a toothpick. But, oh well. This person up my ass now. Too bad. Suck it up, person. I am in traffic. Phew. Glad you don't have smell o vision. Just be glad. Be glad. <laughs> Somebody was spreading manure or something. Ooh. So anyway, I'm sitting there, you know, thinking about riding a bike and thinking all the things that could go wrong. A deer could jump out in front of me or I could cause more bleeding or I could crash or I could do something stupid, da da da, all these things. And so I didn't ride. I practiced my music instead. Both the Barry Sax and the, um, the bass guitar, or just the bass, we don't call it a guitar. It's not a guitar, okay, fine. And, uh, you know, my eyesight's not so good. I wear glasses now. I don't really need them for driving yet. I can still see decently, but not not really well. And uh, I might have that macular degeneration coming up. So I'm just going to take it more easy, I'm thinking. Listen to me talking about taking it easy, right? Watch, two months from now, you'll see me 150 miles an hour down the road. I say two months from now, I meant like two seconds from now. <laughs> Hello, truck. That's a nice truck. So, um, yeah, I think that's my, my focus nowadays is to, at the moment, just trust my gut. I'm not feeling it right for the big long rides or riding much at all because I'm not feeling it. So I practice the music. At some point, probably get that feeling I can ride and I'll go ride. And then you'll see videos of me on the road doing things on the road. Uh, this is now uh, four, I think, four consecutive rides on the Cowie. So maybe it's time for me to take out the gold mine. What do you think? The gold wing people are like, yes, take out the gold wing. And the cowboy people are like, no, leave the gold wing in the garage. <laughs> the people who have both go, oh, you ride whatever you want, dealer's choice, Mike. Thank you. All right, it's my Kaylee 7. I will talk to you later. This will 
give me an opportunity to jump off the bike. Isn't that one beautiful bike right there? Oh goodness. Bike is all business. 200 horsepower, baby. 101 foot pounds of torque. Zero to 60 in two seconds. Maybe less. It's amazing. Right, let me do some finagling here. All right, folks. You guys, stay safe out there. I'll talk to you later.